Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, I'll be showing you how to make a corker bow. This is a fun boutique style bow with curled ribbon. Also, here is a bonus sneak peek of a tutorial I have coming up for this cute little ribbon butterfly where you also use a piece of the curled ribbon using the same corker bow technique to curl the ribbon that I'm showing you today. So be sure to watch for the butterfly clip tutorial in an upcoming video. Let's grab our supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is some 3 8 of an inch grow grain ribbon in coordinating patterns and colors. You'll also need some wooden dowels. I'll be using quarter inch wooden dowels for this project and we'll be using these to curl our ribbon. You can find these in big packs at the craft store. You'll need some wooden clothespins, sharp scissors and a ruler, a clip to attach your bow to, and some dumpy floss for assembling, and of course my glue gun set on low. You'll need some felt for the back of the bow, and then I have some fray check here to help make sure that the ribbon doesn't come unraveled. You can also use a match and a candle if you like. You'll need a glass or metal pan or cookie sheet because we will be curling the ribbon by putting it in the oven. The first step is to curl the ribbon. To do this, take your ribbon and using one of the clothespins, attach it to the top of one of your quarter inch dowels and begin to twist the ribbon around the wooden dowel. You want to make sure that the ribbon doesn't overlap and that it doesn't wrinkle at all as you're wrapping it around and continue to do this until you get to the very end. I like to leave my ribbon on the spool as I do this so I know that I have enough to get to the end and I don't come up short. Once you get to the end of the dowel, take another clothespin, secure the ribbon at the end, and then trim off the excess ribbon. The dowels I use here are 12 inches long, and you'll need six of them to make the bow for this tutorial. So once you have all six wrapped, put them in a preheated oven that is set to 250 degrees, and you'll leave them in the oven to cook for 20 minutes. When they're done, let them cool, and you can see as you unwrap them from the dowel, your ribbon is curled. Ribbon usually has a bit of starch in it to help it hold its shape, so when you put it in the oven and it heats up, you can form these cute little springy curls. Now trim off any of the weird ends of your ribbon, and we're going to cut our little pieces of curly corker ribbon. So I cut mine at just above three inches, so about three and a quarter inch, and I usually get about three of my little springy pieces of ribbon out of each dowel. Once you have those all cut, we are going to make sure that our ends don't fray. So using my fray check, I just put a little in the top of the cup here, and I dip each end of the ribbon into the fray check. It dries very quickly, and this will just make sure that your ribbon doesn't unravel. If you don't have fray check and you'd rather use a candle and a match, please do. This technique works also. If you are using a candle to seal the ends of your ribbon, please be careful not to burn yourself. It's smart to have a bowl of water handy just in case. Once you have all the ribbon prepared, take a long piece of dental floss, lay it down on a flat surface, and then I like to use two books to help me assemble my bow. So I use the books to hold the ends of the ribbon in place so it doesn't move around, and you can see my dental floss in the middle. I lay all of the pieces of corker ribbon over my dental floss, and you can see the books holding it into place, and then I wrap it around once and tie it in a very secure knot, and you can see our cute little bow take shape. Tie a square knot with the floss, and then the next step is to make sure that our bow is secure. So taking the dental floss, wrap it around several more times and finish it off with another square knot. Left over right, right over left. You can also use thread instead of the floss if you'd like. I like how the dental floss holds. Trim off the excess and now we're going to attach our clip. So open up your clip and with the top of the clip facing the back of the bow, slide your clip underneath the floss and then we'll take a small strip of felt that measures about a half inch by about an inch, line it with glue, and then open up your clip and slide it across the back of the clip, over the floss and over the part that's attached to the clip, and you are done. Ta-da! These are really cute on piggy tails, 
and a lot of fun for back to school. And because I didn't have a cute little girl to put these on to show you, you get to see them in my heart again. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out some of my other tutorials. I love to hear from you, so comments and questions below are awesome. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you haven't already yet, please subscribe. See you next time.